All right, guys. Today we are gonna be reacting to Andrew Wilson uses her logics against her to prove she's delusional. Let's just admire Andrew Wilson 304 face before we start the video. <laughs> Let's jump in. Oh. Oh. Look at this giga chat. Very <laughs> By the way, Andrew, it's a little hard to tell because we're zoomed, but all the girls just like cracked a little smile when they saw it. It's AI. It's AI. It's all AI. No, very handsome. Very handsome. Yeah, AI made me look very good looking. It was very nice of AI to do that. Um, mm. uh, so, did Andrew answer? Did you get to answer, Andrew? Yeah, I said, uh, yeah, I think I'll be uh, better looking in 10 years than I am now. Okay. Might what about uh, 20, <laughs> 20 years, Andrew? Yep. How I old think, is uh, Andrew? Into infinity. To I infinity. think I'll be 95 years old and I'll still be better looking than I am now because... I need to join the delusional trends of everybody else. And I have determined that it's really all about how you feel about you rather than what is objective. What is objective True. when it comes to how you actually look? It's really just how you feel. Well, a confident yeah. five is much more attractive than an insecure five. A confident five? That's, that's projection. That's what she's projecting. She's attracted to that, folks. A confident five is, my, is, is very important. If you're a five but you're confident, that's what she's attracted to. That's projection, folks. I have literally a video of me like um, 250 pounds compared to when I was 150. Yeah, well, wait, hang on, hang on. Let's, uh, can we back up real quick? A confident five is still more appealing than a non-confident five. It's still a five. I would agree, but they're both fives, right? Yes, but you're more okay, likely. Okay, well, then all we're asking is what makes them a five even so you just took two personality traits which were in opposition and then said there's still both looks wise a five which means you can differentiate between how the feelings operate and what is objectively true so, so what makes them a, both a five is it because they're both fucking ugly or average or whatever like what makes them a five well i guess they're just average at that point yeah they're just average right but, that's fine but, but when we're asking about looks assessment we're not asking about how you feel so how I, you feel about you doesn't matter how i feel if i feel like it it doesn't make me a fucking ten. it just means i feel like one so if i, I can feel like the king of france right does it make me the king of france a five who dresses like the basket case and for example a breakfast club that's just a below tier five but a five who dresses like uh what's the girl from 16 candles no you're right breakfast club Wait, why you, you guys didn't me? watch it? The popular girl? And yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I mean, this lady, her brain is so rotten. Talking about TV shows. and This is what happened when, this is what happened with our culture, man. It's just these people just eating so much garbage and just watching so much garbage. They, they think that's reality. My goodness. Obviously, five? she's going to be the more attractive five. Sure, but they're both fives. You don't get it. A confidence yeah, but can, no, I get it fine, but they're both fives. Confidence can add an extra point or two. Okay, I will even concede that that's true, six. that with confidence, yeah. a it, five can become a six, but there still seems like there's some type of objective standard that you're appealing to for what a five is, and what I would, an average man is. So what does an average man kind of look like? Me? See, you're right. I'm appealing to this conversation to entertain the show and to be respectful. In my real life, I don't fucking rate people. I think we're all tense. Oh, yeah. oh really? You don't, huh? So let me let me just ask you. I just want to be very clear on this. And you can lie to me because most women do when I ask them this question. When you sit down at a table filled with other women, you don't inside your head judge them on their looks or the clothes that they're wearing, or the type of lashes that they have, or the kind of nails that they're wearing. You don't do any of that, right? Not you. You're a fucking angel, right? You don't ever do that. So you're helping my point. How yeah, they're you're dressed. Answer my question? You're how they're my dressed, question? how they carry themselves, how they do their nails. Yeah, are you going to answer confidence. my question? Do you, when you sit at a table full of women, do exactly what I just said and judge all sorts of little details in your head, even though you'd never say them out loud? I don't, because when I came in this room, you I don't. addressed everyone. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet mm -hmm. you. Like, I think we're all beautiful. We're all women. And the fact that we're all here, yeah. that is confident. And that is a 10 in my eyes. Sorry, okay, you don't agree. Enough. So let me just ask the panel this question. I just, uh, just a quick show of hands. How many of you either know women uh, even if you're not willing to admit that you're one of them, 
who, when they sit at a table filled with other women, make value judgments about all sorts of things, their hair, their lashes, their breast size, everything, and you endlessly compare yourself to them and think that they probably compare themselves to you. Just a quick show of hands. You want to go around the table? Yeah, yeah just a quick show of hands. How many? Yeah, basically all of you. But you didn't do that, right? You didn't do that. Not no, you. I, I refuse to do that because when I was younger, like a teenager, I was very insecure. I wasn't mm -hmm. as outgoing and confident as I am now. So how, who am I and how dare I judge someone based on their looks? It doesn't mean that you don't do it. I think it's just a biological thing. Like, it's not like I'm looking at someone like, oh, wow, they're so ugly. I'm so much better than them. But we look at you know, their hair, how they're presenting themselves. And sure. We just make, it's a, called a value judgment. Yeah, it's it's, like that's exactly right. It's a value judgment. I completely agree with what you just said. It's a value judgment. I tend to do down, that. You sit down and you make value judgments, and why wouldn't you, right? The way that we judge value of other human beings is through making value judgments, and we create, we're pattern recognition machines, right? So I forgot who and said so, this earlier, but yeah, I, I, I do have... respond to her real quick. She's absolutely right when she says that we are all making value judgments on basically everything all the time. So I always find it really, really hard to believe when a woman says, I'm the only one sitting at this table who made zero value judgments about another woman sitting at this table. Am I the no. only one? Well, you have to be like basically a monk. And yeah, it, well, that's so a good question. Are you work. the only one? Are I you don't the know. Only Am one I? At that do, table you guys, who... do you guys do that? Um, I believe comparison is the thief of joy. Thank so like you. if I look at someone and I start to maybe form an opinion, like I'll quickly be self-aware and like take myself out of that mindset because I don't think it's healthy. Oh, this is a woman prattle. None of this stuff made it really matter. It's so easy to answer yes and no. Do you guys all compare each other? Do you guys judge each other? Yes. No. Okay, that's fine. But they can't even say yes or no. That's how dishonest they are. Um, doesn't mean that I don't, I'm not admitting that, like, I don't do it at all. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. it's like a subconscious thing when you see someone. But I recognize and I'm self-aware. I'm yes. like, hey, let me not do that. So, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, there's no problem with you saying it's a problem for me doing this. But that's not really to the heart of the question. To the heart of the question is, don't you do it, though? Yeah, Everybody I do. does. I do it. Yeah, yeah. we all do, Yeah, y'all do it. So, I mean, the thing is, is like, I, uh, all I ever ask is that women are just honest that they mm -hmm. do that, and most of them are not, right? And so until pressed, and then we go, okay, yeah, I actually do do that. And it's like, okay, well, well. That makes me sad to know that the women at this table do that. But she's saying when it comes to Oh, yeah, you're so shocked. You didn't know anything it. about how women operated before you came on the whatever podcast. You didn't, you had no clue that women made value judgments Everybody about each other all the fucking time. You had no clue that this was the case, right? Well, obviously, I know that they do that, but I just like to, like, I don't like to think about that, like, oh, I'm being judged right now. Man, she... Oh, oh my God. This kind of people, the kind of person is so... Need to be right, trying to be quirky, trying to be naive at the same time, but then she's very aggressive and positive. I don't know at this table of other beautiful women it's not always negative and she's That's saying right. like yeah. she's saying when it comes into her it's subconscious and when it comes into her conscious she's you know thinking about it obviously like but so for example like in the perspective that i i do it can i if i can give an example like for example with you you whenever we met each other obviously i have judgments it's not in a negative negative way you told me what you did for work and i'm always careful when because i'm a christian and so if you're going to tell me that what you do for work i'm very careful with what i say because i don't want someone to automatically think she's a christian she's going to judge me and in fact it's great that you do judge people you like have great conversations with them whenever you get to know them especially the first thing you get to know is what they're wearing so if i knew what she did for work um i can ask her like what does she do like i find interest and then just based off of how women dress how they do their hair i can start conversations with absolutely anybody just based off how they look so i'm judging them but not in the way to i uh, mean you're judging me just own it oh my goodness just all the judgment there's nothing wrong with that we all judge you have, have preconceived notions of people. Just own it. Um, You're honest about in it. In a negative way, yeah. but it's just Yeah, no, I think it is starters. in a negative way. I think that we make value yeah, judgments in a negative way nonstop, even if we don't think that we do. So, for instance, you're walking down the street late at night, and five men you don't know are walking down the street towards you. Would you cross the street? 
That's what I was about to say. Oh. I have a double standard, and I do judge. I do have value judgments against. Man, this lady. It's gonna be a couple of videos about her, but she's she's a doozy, man. Yeah, she's. Look at her eyes. She's like, she like have a demon in her. Like she looks stray. She looks stray, but you don't know she's looking stray. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one.